Now, in this last example, if you haven't had a read through it, then um, I strongly suggest you pause the video and read through and then um, come back and listen to the rest of the video. And the reason I say that is because I guess in some ways I approach this a little bit different because there's so much in the question. So it says, for this parabola, find the coordinates of the vertex and the focus and find the equation of the directrix and the axis, the equation of the axis, and what is the maximum value. When I read that and I just saw that it required that many things as for the answers, I thought I'm going to write it down. And I have started with find the vertex, the focus, the equation of the directrix, equation of the axis, and find the maximum value. Now, I think what, what we also, um, another advantage of actually making yourself write these down is you're more likely to ensure that you have answered every part rather than just relying on this underlining. Sometimes the underlining is just not enough. Make yourself write it down and I guess it, having written it down you might also be aware then that at the end you'll come back and you'll check these off and make sure that you have identified all of those and answered the entire question. So I guess for part of it it's very similar to the previous question so it's x squared, I took the x squared, it's 2x uh, plus 28y minus 111 and put it into the format that um, gives me more information both to sketch and to read off things like the, the focus and the vertex and I guess that uh, getting it into this format uh, the clue to that is because it's asking for the vertex and the focus and the directrix so working on that, you can see that the 28y goes to the other side and is a negative, and we've got a positive. We need to complete the square by adding 1 to both sides. And so we get that x plus 1 all squared is now, remember that we want a, a single y inside the bracket in this case, so we're going to take out negative 28. We can't have a negative y in there, so we need to take out negative 28. Uh, I'll be very surprised if you get a question where when you take it, when y has a coefficient and you take that coefficient out, if that number doesn't go nicely into the number you're left with there. It's always just a little thing to check that if it doesn't, just check that you haven't made a mistake. So like I don't know my 28 times tables, uh, but I was... So I obviously I checked with the calculator and I was m very happy that it came out as uh, a 4 and um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy to proceed with that. So from there, well I certainly could identify the vertex. So the vertex is my minus 1 and 4. Um, I can't identify the coordinates of the focus, I I know it will be a negative um, parabola because it's got a negative here and it's back in the original format, the x squared is 4ay. So I know it's going to be upside down. I would also suspect that it should be upside down because I was asked for a maximum value. Now, th that's the advantage of, you know, really focusing on what the questions are asking and being aware of that. We're finding the maximum value. So if I didn't have my parabola in this shape, I wouldn't get a maximum value. So this is all nicely tying together my understanding of what I, uh, the question wants me to get and what I'm achieving so far is nicely coming together. Um, and I know it's a negative also because of this negative outside. 
um, I could work out the focal length from that. So this is 4a, so a is equal to 7, the focal length is 7. Um, but from there I really feel like I need to go to a diagram to get any further understanding of really what's going on. So the vertex at negative 1 and 4, this is my vertex. And I, I know that it's upside down, so I can draw it in. From there, um, I know the focal length is 7. So I need to move 7 units in this direction. 7 units. So that much is 4, obviously. I'd need to come down to negative 3 for y. So I can see at this stage that s, my focus, is at oops, it's better, at minus 3, sorry, minus 1, x value minus 1, y value minus 3. Um, and then likewise, I would go 7 units in that direction, which would take me up to 11, and I would have the directrix going up there. So that will allow me to say the directrix occurs at what? y is equal to 11. So I've done the coordinates of the vertex, the coordinates of the focus. I might actually write that over here. Focus is minus 1, minus 3. Um, the equation of the directrix I've done. The equation of the axis now. Well, that nicely comes from the... A diagram so I'd say axis equation that's a vertical line that will have an equation x equals and it's going through minus 1 so it's x is minus 1 and then the maximum value so you can see from the diagram the maximum that it ever gets to is 4 uh, and that's pretty straightforward. You just write that straight down. Observe that from your diagram. Um, what else is it? It's the y value of your vertex is your maximum or your minimum. And you can see that was the case as well. So there was qu quite a bit in that question. And I guess um, it was just a matter of making sure that we answered every part of it. I think you'll be fine now to do the questions from exercise 9C.